Good evening, this is Sean Gwill with Paradise Veggies. It is Sunday, December 2nd. I'm here at bed number four where I grow tomatoes. Um, for those that are new to my videos, I've gone ahead and built out of two by fours and four by fours this white trellis. And I have strung just straight up the middle of, uh, of the trellis this I guess, I don't know, what is that? Six by six um, concrete cloth, and then I grow my tomatoes up this single plane, if you will. Um, one of the things I try to do for a long, long time is get a tomato plant to grow taller than I am. Without shoes on, I'm probably about six, seven, um, and have been successful. It took a while. So I grew the plant up, 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 until basically it reached the top of the trellis, and then I started growing the tomatoes out. Um, it's worked like a charm. I have um, quite a few tomatoes on the plant, actually, a lot and uh, for those that uh, don't live in Arizona this is I guess one of the benefits it's December 2nd and uh, there's not frost predicted for quite a while have lots of green tomatoes lots of ripe ones in the plant is still growing still healthy still um, flowering setting fruit um, on these other trellises in Arizona it's because it's so hot and there can be such a fluctuation uh, in the spring between nighttime lows and um, daytime highs that big tomatoes are nearly impossible to grow. Yes, there's probably a few Arizona viewers out there that are saying, hey, I grew one. I'm sure you grew one. I've grown uh, one. I've grown ones, single ones also uh, quite a few times and all it takes is one day for the temperature to just peak a little bit crack the whole tomato and then it's not good you can't store it so i've gone for uh, larger cherry varieties and um, better boys and early girls a nice kind of medium-sized tomato um, one of the things is it is cooler so i have been kind of struggling to get any of my medium-sized tomatoes to ripen to any extent the bad uh, I guess the negative part about this garden and growing vegetables through summer in Arizona is the positive part about growing vegetables in this garden through summer in Arizona is kind of the negative part for winter. Um, the garden basically is fully shaded at about 330, so I'm kind of struggling to get enough sunlight through winter here, um, but kind of the perfect amount in, uh, in summer. So early girls, I've planted some uh, carrots uh, around the bottom. I don't think any of them are quite big enough yet, but um, maybe soon. Um, same thing all the way down. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Hope you guys uh, enjoy my videos, post comments, subscribe, stay tuned, bye.